This is like monkey porno music. Welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Thousand One Games. I'm your host, Gaming J, and today we're hopping into the Sega Classic known as Super Monkey Ball! Sponsored by Dole. Eat a banana, save a life. Um, today we are hopping into the modern riff on Marble Madness, in fact. Um, yes, you would not imagine from this opening cutscene that this has anything to do with Marble Madness, although here you'd probably start to, to clue into what this game is actually about. It's more than about just eating delicious, delicious Dole-sponsored bananas. It's also about some monkeys who got trapped in balls and decide to do things. They take advantage of a situation, they do ball-appropriate things. Um, this was planned actually as a Dreamcast game, by the way, but it was later reworked to launch uh, with the GameCube, actually, because uh, the Dreamcast, as many of you know, did not really sort of pan out, and uh, Sega eventually started making games for their rival. You know, if I when you when I was a kid, if you had told me that one day Sega would be making games for Nintendo, I would have. I don't know, I would have slapped you across the face and said, wake up, that ain't never gonna happen, but lo and behold, it did. So uh, here we're getting a description of how to play. Um, I'll just play for just a second here. Um, now this game sounds incredibly simple and incredibly silly when you describe the premise of it. It's a bunch of monkeys, <laughs> he has a naked butt too. Uh, just like a just like a real monkey. Um, just uh, It's just a bunch of monkeys rolling around in like little hamster balls. Um, on sort of like golf courses and stuff, and there's some mini games. It sounds kind of kind of silly, but honestly, this is a great game, guys, and I 100% recommend it. I have played this game before, so I don't need to play it now before I can tell you my thoughts on it. This is definitely a must-play, in my opinion. Um, not because it's like you know as groundbreaking as some other games we've seen, but just because it is a solid, solid game. Um, and if you get a lot of bananas, you get an extra life. So uh, we can figure out the rest. I can sort of explain it to you guys as we go here. I always like to check out the options just to see what they have. Uh, replay, if you want to watch a replay of awesome uh, awesome previous playthroughs, I guess. Um, play points. Oh, the one thing I don't like about this game, by the way, is you can't play any of the mini games until you get 2,500 monkey points. Um, it's going to take us a while to get that many monkey points, and I definitely want to show you guys this game. So there is sort of like a, a single-player main game campaign, and then there's party games that you play with your friends. Uh, so we'll give each of these a shot. Um, and then there are some mini games, and the mini games, the party games, are just as fun as the main game. So we'll play a little bit of this main game, and then we'll pop into each of the mini games. We'll sort of see what's what. Um, but I do generally, as a rule, don't like how... Uh, when games lock off part of the content until you beat other parts of the game. I mean, I know they do that to make you play the rest of the game, but, like, as somebody who doesn't like to be told what to do, like, I absolutely hate being told what to do, um, I dislike when developers do that to me. But uh, anyway, here we have our choice of monkeys. We can be I, I, Mimi, Baby, or Gon Gon. Um, the monkeys actually do make a bit of a difference. They sort of has the, um, it's sort of like Mario Kart in the I.I. is kind of like Mario and Mimi is pretty similar. Baby is like really fast but very weak and Gon Gon is sort of like slow and clumsy. We're going to go with the, uh, the main character here though, I.I. It's like playing Mario and being Mario. He's a prototypical monkey. We can be beginner, advanced, or expert. Uh, let's just go ahead and start a beginner. Uh, just so we can sort of see there's only 10 levels you might be able to breeze through this really fast the levels go very quickly So I said this game is sort of a riff on Marble Madness because look at this You're basically just sort of bouncing around um, when I'm using the d-pad here. I'm rotating the entire world actually and That leads I I to kind of roll in the direction that I uh, that I please it's kind of an interesting gameplay mechanic because I'm not actually controlling I I so much as I am controlling the entire world so it's sort of like, in order to make I.I. go places, here, let's just pass a level. We don't actually have to connect, collect all the bananas. I think it will definitely increase our points, but we get to watch him do... I love his, like, little victory dance when he wins. Um, but yeah, we're, we're literally like, it's too hard to move this damn little monkey. Let's just move the entire world around him. Things can get pretty fast-paced, as you can see. You can, now, you can uh, fly up over the sides of the map and, like, fall off to your death. So, for instance, here's actually one tricky level. 
where you have to sort of line yourself up with this thing, and if you do it too fast, you can end up falling to your death. Oh, like that! Aye, aye, aye! We, we will never forget your kind! Okay, I gotta go a little faster, I think. So here we go. This is how the pros do it. This is how you speed run, guys. We're not gonna mess around. We wanna see that monkey dance. We wanna see nothing but this monkey at high speed and shaking that booty. Okay, we have a bonus stage here, lots of bananas. It reminds me of like the Sonic uh, bonus stage and I think it was Sonic and Knuckles that had sort of a third person perspective, if I am recalling correctly. I mean, Sonic 2 also had a third person perspective, but I'm thinking of the one where he's like running around trying to collect the blue and the red balls, um, if you guys know what I'm talking about. If you do, it makes a lot of sense. If you don't, it sounds like I'm a crazy person. You know, ima imagine if you went back in time and you had to describe video games to people like in the 30s um, or even like further back in time than that. I feel like the third, you want to go to like a, a relatively modern period. But imagine you went back to like the 30s and you had to describe video games to people and you had to get them to believe you in order for you to get back into the present. And you'd like stop people on the street and be like, in the future, there's like a blue hedgehog and he's trying to collect blue balls and a big giant fat man is like trying to stop him and put animals into robots. They would, they would lock you up. They would serious, they would, they would commit you. Um, a random person on the street would have the authority to commit you in that case. They wouldn't even need a judge. Um, so things are getting a little more dangerous now, as you can see. Um, but still, it's within it's within my paycheck. I have the ability to pass these levels. Um, I I do remember, like, I don't think I was like ever the best at Super Monkey Ball here. <laughs> I love that name, by the way, Super Monkey Ball. Um, I was never the best at Super Monkey Ball. Oh God! Oh God! But that's actually <laughs> see what I mean about how it's just kind of fun. That was just kind of fun. It's like going down one of those giant roller coaster slides or something at a theme park. Um, I was never the best at this, but it's like this game, I would play this casually, I remember, way back in the day. I think I played this on Xbox 360, actually. Um, in fact, ah! <laughs> this game is out on most platforms. I don't think I've ever played the original GameCube version here. Um, oh no, we died! I, I didn't realize I had lives. What, I only received 169 points? That's crazy. Oh man, I didn't realize we had lives. All right, I should actually sort of try harder. Um, but yes, I was never the best at this game, but I did always enjoy it. And it's the kind of game that you can just sort of pick up and play casually. And there's just like a certain simple fun to it. It's it's a lot like Marble Madness. Like, no, oh, we need to build up some momentum for this. Hey, oh, there we go. Um, Marble Madness, when I played it um, a while back on my channel, I had never played it before. And I wasn't the best at it, but uh, I definitely appreciated it. It was kind of like a fun, interesting gameplay mechanic. I couldn't see myself getting into it when I was a kid. Um, oh, this is an interesting one. Look at this one, guys. Oh, God. You got to be super patient. Hey ah! <laughs> Damn it. That was a poorly executed plan. Um, I like how he like ricochets off of stuff even when he falls off a cliff. Like they they did they were computing the physics all the way down there. Um, but anyway, Marvel Madness. Oh, shh. Son of a Marvel Madness is the type of game that like it was just sort of some casual fun. Um, and it's the type of game that probably a lot of people would enjoy. Um, definitely the first time I ever played Super Monkey Ball. By the way, it was like at a party, and somebody uh, sort of. Uh, oh God! Oh, oh God! Oh, that's the goal. Oh my god, somebody threw it into like, whatever it was, a GameCube or something like that. And we started playing one of the competitive uh, mini games, which I'll show you guys in a little bit, where you literally are just a bunch of monkeys punching each other, trying to knock each other off the edge of the world. And it was just like a fun game to play. Um, and, oh, monkey! No, I, uh, <laughs> he died. Is there a jump button, by the way? I should explore what these buttons do. We're gonna keep going. I, I, we shall not let you down. Ready? Um, but it was the kind of game you could pick up and play. You could like laugh at. There does not seem to be a jump, by the way. So I don't know how you're supposed to do this. I guess you just go full speed. Oh, oh! <laughs> we ricocheted to our death. Um, but this would be a great game to play if you had like some friends over. Even this main campaign, even not playing the like little mini games, it's just sort of like a funny game to like sit and play and like. Even people who are good at video games, oh shh, may not be good at Super Monkey Ball. People who are bad at video games might be good at Super Monkey Ball. Like, there's, 
you know, it, it's, it's just one of those things that you can just have fun with, kind of no matter who you are. And so I think that's what the the pleasure, oh, damn it, of Super Monkey Ball is. Um, I can't believe we're actually getting stuck on the beginner level. Also, if you look at the beginner icon in the bottom left there, doesn't it kind of look like the Breaking Bad icon? Like, maybe this is a monkey who's being diagnosed with cancer, and he has to make, like, one last run of, like, bananas to leave enough bananas for his family after he dies. Oh, there we go. We did it. Man, that one takes a, a fine touch to pass that level. It's interesting, though. It's, it's fun to sort of get good at the physics and sort of figure out what you're supposed to do there. Um, oh, God. Look at this. We got to take this one nice and slow. Nice and slow. Nice and slow. What are you doing? I like how I'm asking myself what I'm doing. Oh, God. Easy on the old analog stick there. Nobody's in a rush. Nobody has to die today, I I. Just easy there. Easy and we can all make it home. Oh, you. Oh, God. There's steps. Oh, my God. My, my palms. This is like an old NES game. My palms are so sweaty right now. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. We got to, like, do a running start on this one. <laughs> Damn it. Oh, Jay, what did you do? You fool. You sweet fool. Okay, we got to try this one again. Wow, the levels get challenging. This is beginner, by the way. This is this is the last level of beginner, but this is going to kind of set the stage for how hard expert gets. I don't know if I ever passed expert. As I said, I played this. I'm pretty sure I played this on Xbox, and I would just pick up and play it. I was never the best. I don't know how far I actually got in the game, but... Definitely with practice, you can get a lot better at this, obviously. Um, but I don't remember how far I got. I think I always enjoyed the minigames. Crap. A lot more than I enjoyed the campaign. Um, not that this isn't enjoyable. It's just sort of... Uh, here, it's sort of about passing puzzles. The minigames is a little bit more about sort of competition and such. So, we'll see. Oh, god damn. <laughs> I'm doing worse. I'm doing worse, guys. You know, like that moment when you've, uh, when you know you've been playing a game too long where you start to do progressively worse at it? That's kind of what's happening to me right here. So, uh, I am getting a little scared, though, at the, the paltry amount of points, son of a, that I'm collecting. Because I know that you need, again, 2,500 to unlock the mini games, and I definitely want to play these mini games for this episode. At least show them to you. I'm taking my time on this one, guys. There's, no need to be a hero here. Uh, but I've only made like 250 points so far. I don't know how long it's going to take me to get 2,500. I'm hoping that if I pass the beginner mode here, they'll suddenly like give me, you'll be like, you earned a thousand monkey points. And then I'll be said, okay, here we go. Here we go, 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 we did it! Oh yeah! Oh god! What the hell is this? No, 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 monkey! <laughs> oh god. See, this is the kind of game that would only be enhanced by having, like, a group of your friends all in the same room, all cheering at the television together. I hope you guys are legitimately yelling at your screens on my behalf, because, uh, it will... It will help me in some way. You won't see it because I'll have played this game uh, days before I ever actually upload it. But somehow, through the web of time and space, I will hear the echoes of your future calls, your future cheers, and that will motivate me to find the inner monkey and pass these levels. I, man, I can't believe the beginner level ends on... on Like, this should be expert. This is crazy. I, I hesitate to see what experts are like. Um, I guess we should try one course in each mode. And I mean, I need to get those 2,500 monkey points, so I'm gonna have to uh, play some something more than just beginner here. Unless passing this level you get 2,500 monkey points, which I feel like you should. Oh my god. Man, I cannot keep this stupid analog stick straight. Oh god, it's it's so tense. Okay, oh, no, 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 no. God damn it. Every time I get there, I'm like, just take it easy. No sudden movements. And the first thing I do when I get on that little ledge is a sudden movement. <laughs> like my brain knows what to do, but my hands don't want to do it. Okay. Got this, Jay. Got this. Actually, running up this ramp is not as big a deal as I thought it was initially. Oh, God. 
don't die. Okay, here we go. No sudden move. Mint! Calm down. Oh my god. Literally, the controller's gonna slip out of my hand. It is so slippery, guys. This is like old school NES right now. Oh no, only 10 seconds! Son of a. We did it! We got the banana past the goal! Oh god! Oh, that's like the biggest achievement I've made in like a month in gaming. Passing the beginner level of Super Monkey Ball. Oh my god, he's flying through the sky like somebody fired him out of a- Oh no, it's a banana. And he landed on it! He was freed from his hamster ball! What? You got a hundred- What? Only a hundred points! Oh god! I don't think my heart can take 2,500 points in this game. Only 2,140... <laughs> Wait, to the next minigame? I thought 2,500 unlocked all of them. Oh god, this could take forever. So I guess when you pass beginner mode, you just straight up get the end credits of the whole game? I have never in my life got to the end credits of a game. Oh, and we can collect all these bananas. Uh, that fast. Oh god, the letters take away our bananas. Okay. Maybe this will give us some monkey points. Some sort, some, so, oh damn, we're losing all the bananas though. We have like negative 11 bananas. Oh god, negative 13, oh negative 20. We're going in the hole in this one guys. I've never had a credit scene put me in the hole for bananas. We're at minus two, god. Oh, why are so many people involved in the development of this game, you bastards? I just want to see like the mini game was made by Ben. Or like, Joe, like just a- oh god, look at all these letters! No! No! Oh, monkey, no, no! Oh, I forgot! Negative 55! Negative 65 bananas! Oh god, this game is kicking me hard! Kicking me hard and it does not feel good. Oh my god. I love the idea of this bonus level, but it's terrible. It's the, it should bottom you out at zero. This is the only mini game in the world where you can pass it and then you like leave the mini game and they're like, all right, you owe us 40 bananas. And you're like, are you serious? I thought that, uh, I thought that was just like an arbitrary score. They're like, no, pony it up. Go get us some freaking bananas. You don't want to see us when we're mad. Okay, I have 25 bananas. I imagine, oh God, oh God. If you play this correctly, son of a you might be able to like rack up hundreds of extra bananas, which could probably really help that minigame score. I'm walking away with like 15, I think. I think, oh, you, there was an H. There was a hidden H over there. Oh God, good monkeys. Okay, we're at 57. That's pretty good. I would be happy to walk away with this. Oh, I'm in a field of letters. Oh, the letters, they took it. <laughs> Damn it. 2D design. I didn't even know there were 2D parts of this game. See, that's what we need. More credits like that. This guy doesn't have too many letters. He should be okay. Whoa! <laughs> Tricky. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Character design. There's got to be a YouTube video of somebody, like, totally poning this uh, bonus level here and just walking away with, like, 2 million bananas. Are we done yet? Planners. Okay, that's a nice easy one. Gotcha. Gotcha. Okay, we're up to, like, 119. Oh, this is where they take it all from you, though. Son of a bitch! No! Okay, we're at 105. Not bad. Not b oh, damn it. I looked up at my score for a second, and when I looked in front of me, there was a letter. Aw, oh, damn it. Why are there so many people? 146? The monkey voice. Who did the monkey voice? Man, does this ever end? This is like the longest credit sequence ever. Stay tuned for the bonus post-credits Super Monkey Ball scene where they assemble the Monkey Avengers. Oh god, I thought I passed that letter. That sucks. We are significantly racking up the banana score though, I will tell you. This this damn well better contribute to that minigame. Stuff, shoot. Or I will be, oh god, upset. The Dole Food Company. Oh my god! And special thanks we're reaching the end, guys. No! The I got me. No! The S got me. Damn it. Ugh. We're almost at 300. 300 monkey points! Man, I do, I'm, I'm doing better at this than I did at the actual game. 300 monkey points. 309 monkey points! And the goal! Oh, God. This is where they're really going to screw you. 
This final round of letters. There we go! Okay, 334. I feel like I'm comfortable with that. Your monkey level, Humboldt, Wooly Monkey. I don't know if that does anything for me, but sure. Presented by Sega. Did, did I not? Wait. Did that not earn me any monkey points? Enter your name. I like how even the name entry screen is like kind of exciting. Okay, my name. Oh god. And they also give you a time limit. Why? Why on earth would you give me a time limit to enter my name? Also, the funny thing is, if you're not good at this game, you're gonna have a hard time entering your name correctly. So your name will just be ja -ra -ra -ra. Like it'll just be a, a big, you know, fumble of letters. All right. What happens if you don't enter your name in time? If we don't pass this goal, what happens? J Nag, Ari Show Shack. Thanks for playing. Game over. Take your monkey points and get the hell off my plane. All right. Select game. Take a look here and see what we got going on. So mini games. Um, we only. Ha oh God. Oh, that whole post-credit thing did not contribute to our monkey Select points. Game. Whoa. Game. Okay. Let's let's go ahead and give. Um, what's competition? Oh, two to four players. Almost. Let's just take a quick look at. Um, at advanced, and I'm gonna go ahead. Let's give baby a try. I don't like Gon Gon because he's too hard to control, but let's take a quick look at some advanced levels and then maybe we'll pop over to some of the party games and I might have to actually earn some monkey points off camera here in order to get us some of those mini games because otherwise this could be like a five hour video. Um, so in the world of Super Monkey Ball, they like to leave their children in a hamster ball during daycare as they go off to their jobs and to um, have fun with their friends and so on and so forth. This game really has sort of like a mini golf feel to it. Like it feels like, it, you know, you're, especially in these later levels that are more difficult, it feels like you're playing a game of uh, mini putt. Uh, and there's also like a bit of hint of like billiards and like uh, pinball here. If you notice, I was sort of ricocheting off those things there. Oh God, oh God, oh baby. <laughs> Guys, a, monk, a sweet little monkey child almost fell to its death right in front of you. Oh my God. Um, interesting little bit of trivia here for uh, Super Monkey Ball, by the way. There was a 2006 study that was conducted, and I don't know why they investigated this, but they were interested in seeing if surgeons who played this game 20 minutes before going to conduct surgery were better surgeons. Um, and it turned out they were. So if you play Monkey Ball for 20 minutes... Uh, actually, not Monkey Ball, Super Monkey Ball. Sorry, don't, don't waste your time with Monkey Ball. It's garbage. But Super Monkey Ball, 20 minutes before surgery, um, you become faster and you make fewer mistakes when you uh, conduct surgery. So, like, I don't want to brag, but I am pro... God, now what do I do? I'm stuck. But I am probably, like, ready to conduct surgery right about now. Boom, there we go. Yeah, look at that monkey dance. Yeah, so if you guys have any, like, elective surgeries you want done, just send me a private message. Well, I'll hook up. I'll definitely play some Monkey Ball and probably some Halo before I do it. Just to, like, double down and make sure I'm going to do a good job. Uh, you know, I don't want to give anyone, like, uh, half ass surgery. I'm not a trained doctor, I should say. Uh, I'm offering free surgeries here. This I'm probably going to get shut down by the AMA or something. I can imagine. I don't think you're allowed to just offer someone, like, a surgery. You know, like, I'm pretty sure doctors have that on lockdown. Oh, shoot, there's only nine seconds left? Seven. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Yes, we did it. <laughs> man, down to the wire. Down to the wire, man. And here we go. You can see that these are kind of like beginner levels, but they've made them. Oh, more challenges. <laughs> Goodbye, sweet baby. We, we never technically named you. We just called you Baby, probably because we knew you were going to have a short and sweet life in the land of monkey balls. Oh, God! <laughs> I was actually trying to aim him towards the goal, but he just sank like a stone. Okay, let's see if we can actually do this. I, I really want to... Whoa! He just didn't even see the course that time around. Okay, I guess we actually have to take this one slow. Um, he only received 151 points. Man, it's gonna take a while for him to pass. Oh wait, look, there's a secret. There's a secret uh, exit right behind us. Did you guys see that? 
Hold on, watch. We're gonna do this. We're going we're going full secret on this one. Here we go. Boink! Damn it. <laughs> See look there was a platform, I swear. I swear there's a platform. We're totally gonna get that. There we go, baby! Crap. You have to like go on that with like finesse, man. Finesse. We have 57 seconds. There's no need to rush it. Um, one thing I have heard about this game is that because it contains this like physics system where you can go in and just sort of like fall from one track to the other, there are ways of like speed running this game um, where you abuse the physics. Oh, oh, yes, we did it! Jump to floor 10. Oh, we found a warp zone, guys. I told you. I told you we're awesome. You guys didn't believe me. Um, you want to know an ironic thing about this game as well, speaking of trivia? This game, to me, feels very Japanese. I've talked about this before, in the sense of, like, like when Mario first came out, it felt very Japanese. Like, it was very, it sort of had just sort of the Japanese feel and aesthetic and stuff to it. I mean, it still does, but I think we're also used to Mario that we don't even notice it anymore. By the way, this is like, I'm getting seasick playing this level. Um, but this game feels very Japanese, sort of like cute characters, like baby voices. Um, it's sort of got colorful characters and like kind of like weird yet intriguing and fun gameplay. Well, now we're in like casino zone of like, uh, or like Guitar Hero level. Um, so this game feels very Japanese, but it sold really poorly in Japan. Oh shoot, now I'm trying, oh, what the hell? Am I just dead? I'm <laughs> just like... It's like, you suck, kid, you're done. Okay, I received 129 points. Wait, I, I have an idea. Could we just, can we just sort of cheese out some points here? Hold on, let's just try and get these three bananas and then die and do this repeatedly. I wonder if it will give us points or not. Um, but anyway, yeah, this game did not sell very well in Japan. Um, and that kind of surprises me. This feels like a game that should have done well in Japan, but uh, I guess it was just sort of... I don't know, for whatever reason, didn't resonate. Um, so it sold a lot better in, like, North America and stuff. And it was supposed to be a Dreamcast game, but uh, it was it ended up being shifted over to the GameCube. Oh, you have to pass the level to earn the points. Damn, I thought we could, uh, I thought we could easily, like, earn a whole bunch of points. Okay, forget it. We're just going to take the easy route, because that will guarantee that we actually pass the level. There we go. We're earning virtually no bananas here. Oh, God. <laughs> I was going to say it was a safe bet, but we almost died there. Okay, here we go. Just going to go over here and up here. Oh, get up there. Get up there. Boom. There we go. Did that earn us any points? I don't think it did. I think you earn, like, I think the goal here is to collect bananas. That's how you get those monkey points, those sweet, sweet monkey points. So we're going to go ahead and... Try and get all these bananas. Come on. Oh, it's harder than it looks. Get, get up there. <laughs> oh, monkey. Baby, get up there. Oh my god, he's like, he just does not have the strength. There we go, okay. Six, five. Oh no, we're not even gonna pass the level. Get in there, no! Aye, aye, baby. <laughs> I mean, not aye, aye, his name's baby. Um. All right, let's just try and pass this level. This level's harder than it looks. Oh my god. Um, so this game did not sell well in Japan, um, but it was it was a successful GameCube launch title, so it sold well elsewhere. I always got to thinking, you know, like, I wonder if this game had launched with the opening of the Dreamcast, if it might have helped turn the Dreamcast fortunes around. Like, it's hard to say, like, how far away... Whoa! How far away... Whoa! <laughs> What's the Dreamcast from being successful? I honestly feel like sometimes it's a much narrower window, window than you think. Like if this game had been a launch title, it might have convinced some people who wouldn't normally bought a Dreamcast to buy a Dreamcast. And those people, being audience members, might have convinced third-party developers to make more games, and that might have sort of snowballed and spiraled out of control to eventually sort of uh, make the Dreamcast a success. Um, I mean, look at like the Wii U. The Wii U is like Nintendo's Oh god! Oh god! Damn it! Nintendo's example of a console that didn't do so well fleet recently. I mean, I don't think it flopped in the same way that, um, like a true flop, but it definitely did not sell very well. And 
I think a large part of it was that it just did not have the titles uh, at launch to draw people in. And there was a long time where people were kind of waiting for games. Um, and that just meant people weren't super interested. But like if Mario Maker had launched with the Wii U, it might have been a totally different story. So I, I don't know, I wonder, like, if this and maybe one or two other of the Dreamcast Better games had been out since the very beginning, would, would, um, would the Dreamcast's fortunes have been very different? Would it have been a success? Oh, this is weird. I'm in, like, a, a maze of punching gloves. Interesting. I mean, the game's inventive. It's creative. It's easy to pick up and play. Um, and it does take freaking forever to earn monkey points. So here's an example of how you can sort of shortcut a level with the physics. Oh, God. I guess you can't shortcut it that hard. Let's try this again. I think you can do this. Oh, we kind of almost did it. See, there's there's the hints. The hints of the speedrunner within me. Um, we're going to go ahead and say no. Okay, I've earned... 760 monkey points just from playing around uh, for a brief period of time here. So definitely, I think what we'll do now, let's go ahead and check out some of those party games. And then I'm going to unlock a couple of those mini games and we can go ahead and, and end with that. So I give you guys like a nice um, full experience of Super Monkey Ball here. So it is game over for us. Uh, there's nothing left for Baby. He did not... He did not find his way home. He's lost somewhere in the land of Monkey, forever collecting bananas on floating golf courses in the sky. In fact, it's kind of like all the monkeys in this game are dead, and they're in, like, Monkey Heaven. And Monkey Heaven, who knew, was like a mini golf course that rotated and, like, dropped them around like marbles. Um, okay, so there's a couple of different party games to select. Uh, Monkey Race is basically like Mario Kart. Monkey Fight is the punching one that I love, and then there's Monkey Target. Uh, which is kind of like a ski jump thing. What are the mini games, by the way? Monkey Billiards, Monkey Bowling, and Monkey Golf. Man, this game, honestly, like, has so much value. Oh my god, there's so many different games within this game. We're just gonna do one course with one player, because there's just me. Let's go ahead and give Gon Gon a shot. He's sort of like the Bowser. Um, there are different levels of difficulty. Let's just go ahead and... Let's try Advanced. Beginner's a little too beginner. Um, an expert is kind of beyond our pay grade, guys. Let's go ahead and try advanced. Number of laps, computers, go ahead and start. So yeah, if you like party games and you feel like you have played enough Mario Kart in your day, then you can go ahead and try Super Monkey Ball. So yeah, I think you just hold A to run. Those are like speed ups. You can knock each other like off the edge of the map. You can get power ups. I don't know how to use them. Oh man. Okay, nobody knocked me there. That was a self-inflicted wound. But uh, I'm gonna say that I. Ugh, how do you how do you actually use your items? I don't even know. Uh, I'm gonna say that was a self-inflicted wound to make it fair for my opponents, because otherwise I would just decimate them. Oh god. Okay, we got. I think you used just A to use the power ups. I was holding A to go, but I think you just just used the arrows. No, gun, 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 gun! You stupid idiot! If you look at the radar in the bottom, it's funny to actually, like, watch my guy because you see him going, like, really fast and he just flies off into oblivion! <laughs> oh, I almost landed that. Um, so, obviously, this there's a bit of finesse here because you want to go fast, but you don't want to obviously go over the edges like I'm doing. Um, and if you can successfully thread the needle and go fast without going over the edges, you can obviously win the game. We're totally, we're totally screwed in this, though. Um, it, I, I feel like I'm so far behind that what I should do is, like, turn around and just try and, like, sabotage other people. I'm going way too fast there. Way too fast. Look how far I went off the map on the radar. I was just, like, flying. Like, to the far edge of the screen. Oh, God, gun, gun. See, I know they're a lap ahead of me, but I kind of feel like I'm still racing them. Like, if I pass this guy, I've, like, achieved something. Oh, God. Man, for... They they really, like, amp up the difficulty quickly. In Beginner, I think it's, like, trivially easy to race, and then it gets... This is actually fairly difficult. Um, with, like, the, uh, those, like, bouncing bumpers near the finish line and stuff. Um, and the power-ups, I feel like, are mostly boosts. I'm pretty sure there are other power-ups you can get. 
Um, but I... Obvi I think it's just giving me boost because I'm so far behind. I think you can get one that, like, turns your opponent into ice cube blocks rather than balls. And then they just, like, float away and they, like, can't control themselves. And they, like, go over uh, edges and stuff. So there's fun power-ups like that. Um, obviously the computer one. Uh, wait, was that a computer gone gone? Were there two gone gones racing? Yeah, there were, because there's no baby. There's I I gone gone Mimi, and then me, the crappy gone gone. He's he's like, just gonna punch the crap out of the ground. He's like the worst loser ever. He's what we call a sore loser, but that's okay, uh, because I feel like in that scenario I would be too. You know what? He's not mad he lost the race. He's mad that I was controlling him. He's like, no, I got the player controller. Give me a break, guys. This guy sucks at video games. Oh, man. All right, this is my favorite mini game, the monkey fight. Let's go with, uh, let, let's redeem Gon Gon. Before we switch to, we'll give Mimi a shot, but before we switch, we're gonna redeem Gon Gon. So there's some different levels to try. Um, the UFO. Let's give uh, Midsummer Night Jungle Square a shot. It's the Shakespearean of all of, oh wait, actually, we get to mix it up. So we can do one of each. Boom. All right, so we're gonna try one round on each of the levels. And basically, this game works the way it sounds, which is punch the crap out of the other monkeys until there's only one of you left. And this is all you do. <laughs> You just go around, so I'm, I, I'm in the red red ball trying to punch people. You just try and punch them off a cliff, and you can get these power-ups. Now look, my fist is giant. Now you can totally punch people a lot faster. Oh, look how big my fist is! Yeah, buddy! You can get power-ups that I think let you charge up your fist. I don't know how to do that, though. Hold on. I might, I might mess with the buttons in a second here. Oh, yeah! Oh, yeah! <laughs> this is all it is! Big mon monkey punch fest. Did you ever want to see four monkeys punchy punch themselves to death? Because now you can. Hold on. There's got to be a way to charge your shot. Oh, God. Uh, uh. So when I... Damn it. When I hold the, the thing, my, my glove charges. Changes color. I, I don't quite understand. I, I thought there was a way to, like, charge your shot. But, uh, damn it. I thought I was doing pretty well. Oh, I only had 45 points. Oh man. Okay, enough messing with uh, messing with the controls here. Uh, but I thought there was a way to like charge up your shot and then like let it go. I guess not though. Ah, sucker! Come on, buddy. Come on, green. Yeah. Okay. We just wait for them to come for us. Oh, and then we uh, circle around and push them off the edge. Yeah. Okay, now we have a long, a long glove. Oh yeah, we got the big glove too! Come on, I'm invincible! Yeah. Why is no one dying? They're all like avoiding me. I think they've clued into my, my MO, which is to kill them. Oh, he's got a big glove too! No, oh, they teamed up on me! Green and yellow. Green, why did you betray me? Yellow just betrayed you. You, you were a patsy, buddy. Oh my god. Right near the edge! Oh no, 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 don't do this to me, computer! Don't do this to me, computer! Oh man, you can imagine if you were playing this with a bunch of friends, it could get quite chaotic. This makes a particularly good drinking game if you were looking for that kind of thing. Um, oh god. Yes, Gon Gon is redeeming himself. Okay, we just need to win one with Gon Gon and I will feel good about my life. Round three. Round three, the UFO. The most deadly of all monkey battlegrounds where Ape has fought Ape since the beginning of time. Oh, God! Did I get a kill there? Shoot, I think... Ah! Oh, I just flew off the edge again. Uh, suiciding in this, this level is not good, guys. Oh, look, I got a crazy glove. It's, like, bouncing all over the place. Did not help me, though. Ah, oh, son of a... I'm, I'm suiciding like crazy here in this one. Damn it. We gotta pull this together. Yes. Okay, we got one. Ugh. I don't know if that one was mine. Come on. No, 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 no. Die. Die. Go off the edge. Go off the edge. No. Oh, are we winning? I think we're winning. Oh, I suicided. Ten seconds left. No. 
no! Oh no, we're not winning anymore! Kill the blue player! Kill the blue player! No, God, God must redeem himself! Oh God, we don't have enough points to make this a thing, guys. Oh, blue eye eye wins. Blue eye eye wins. I don't think that we won. Oh, we get we get one more round? Okay, one more redemption round, guys. Once more into the breach, and we're gonna figure out which is the biggest monkey of them all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm really trying, but it's hard, man. Once you get kind of like cornered. Oh, son of a I, and I keep suiciding. It's it's actually really annoying. I need to like stop suiciding. Okay, we got the big glove. The gloves are coming off! Wait, how did that not kill anyone? There we go. I killed two people! What more do you people want? Come on, monkey. You know, if this was if this was like real, if this is really a thing, like putting monkeys into hamster wheels, hamster balls, and letting them punch each other, this would be this would be like uh, animal cruelty right here. Unless the animals chose to do this. If the monkeys of their own accord wanted to engage in some kind of hamster ball fueled uh, boxing glove fist fight. Who are we to say no to the monkeys? Like, the, as a sentient species, do we have a right to tell other sentient species who they can and can't duel to the death with in, like, a monkey free-for-all? I don't know if we have that right. I don't know what I'm talking about also. I've just played it. I've won too many kicks to the head in the monkey arena. Why are we still doing more rounds? Is there, like, not a definitive victor yet? Oh, son of a bitch! Damn you, yellow! Damn you, Tricky. Oh, I guess it's like the first one to like three wins. Okay, so we, we have to win or we're just gonna keep playing more monkey ball here, which is not is not the worst thing to be punished with if you don't win. Come on, blue. Oh, you're so close to the edge. Oh, oh! Did I get any points there? Or is it all the other guy? We got we gotta kill green man he's doing way too good there we go i will take it as long as we can stop green's reign of tyranny yes yes kill the green monkey that's that's the thing about these like multiplayer games is that as soon as one player starts dominating everyone else teams up against them and then like he can quickly start to lose so it's like there's a lot of there's a lot of backstabbing when you're playing with friends for this type of game I feel like it's it's a little lost when you're playing against computers. Okay, we got one more round here. Here we go. We're gonna play dirty in this one because we we want to win at all costs. Ah, no, no, you son of a, you targeted me. That that was that was ugh, that was specifically targeted against me. Forget what I said about uh, having no you know no no jerkiness when you're playing against the computer. Only when you're playing against friends. Their computer can be a jerk. Here. Come here, you stupid monkey. Oh, what the? There is a way to charge your glove. I know it. He knows it. I don't know it. It's an unfair advantage, I tell ya. Come on, blue. Ah, oh, son. I'm, I'm, I really want to kill blue. Why won't you just die? Ah. Oh, we got him. We got him. Oh, we got green too! Oh, blue, you dirty, you dirty! Okay, we're doing good, guys. Three more seconds. If we don't lose, we, we have this. Yes, we didn't lose! Gon Gon redeem himself in Arena of Monkey. Gon Gon punch better than other monkey. Oh, it's the happiest day of his life. I I does not feel so good. And we got 415 points. Does that contribute to my monkey points? No, of course not. All right, let's try uh, out the last party game here. Monkey Target. Monkey target. We'll just try this one real quickly because I feel like this video is starting to get a little on the long side. Go ahead and give Mimi a shot. She's good for the monkey target. Number of rounds, 10. We're not going to get through 10 rounds of this. Um, oh, this looks fun. This is like monkey diving or something. Uh, what is this? Bombs versus clouds? What? Is happening okay nothing interesting here we go guys I don't know what we're gonna do but we're gonna do it oh my god here we go whoa oh we're flying oh my god 
Oh, this is like uh, pilot wings. Oh yeah, sweet. Uh, I don't know how to fly well. Uh, let's just try and land on the hundred. Uh, land on the, oh God, we're going into the water. We landed on virtually nothing. The thing that we found about pilot wings was like landing correctly. And I feel like this would have a similar level of difficulty. So, okay, I guess the like bombs or clouds will like add environmental factors that will mix up the gameplay. Okay, so this is spike bombs. Oh God, look at that. Oh man, this it went from like, oh, that's easy to like, oh my God, how are you supposed to do that? Now let's try and do it. Do it good. Oh yeah. Oh, we missed it. We missed it. Huh, interesting. Okay, avoid the spikes. Definitely don't want to get hit by the spikes. spike bombs. Oh, there's wind, too. That's why I'm kind of like drifting to the right. Okay, here we go, guys. And go! Oh, man, that's really hard to get up into the like top of the pyramid there. 20 points? Oh, come on, I'm on the line! Come on, oh, come on. I'm on the line, that's 40 points. Okay, we'll do one more round here. And uh, and then I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to wrap up my, my thoughts on Super Monkey Ball here. And maybe if you guys stick around afterwards, you'll see a little bonus uh, bonus footage of some of the other minigames. Because I'll try and unlock them, but 2,500. Uh, and if that's per minigame, I don't think I'll unlock every minigame. And so uh, Super Monkey Ball here. This is one of the games in the book 1001 video games you must play before you die. And I have to say, I have to say, I wholeheartedly agree with that assertion. I think that this is just one of those fun party games that kind of also works when you're by yourself. Like it just has like a lot of like game modes. Oh, I can't believe we landed that. Oh, and into the deep dark ocean we go. We're uh, into Davy Jones's locker there. Um, there's just one of those games that like it has so much going on for it. There's so much value in this game. You have the main game. You have mini games. You, the, everything is like easy to pick up. It's a little addicting. It's very skill based. Um, the levels get very hard very quickly, and it does remind me of those old NES games where you have to have like very precise fingers. Ooh, wow! Can't believe we actually got that. You have to have very precise fingers. You have to like tap buttons at just the right time. If you like that kind of gameplay, then you will actually have fun with uh, Super Monkey Ball here. Um, it's a great game to play with friends. I think it's just overall a great game. It's not, you know, on the level of going to have like a super detailed story or anything like that or like be a mind blowing game, but it's just like a solid entry in any game library, I think. But hey, those are just my thoughts. What do you guys think here of Super Monkey Ball? Does it look like the kind of game that you would enjoy? Indeed, is it a game that you have played before in the past? And do you have lots of fun memories um, fighting with friends in the Monkey Ball Arena or uh, oh, using items? Yes. Interesting. Um, it, do you have fun memories? If you do, go ahead and share them in the comments down below because I'm always excited to hear what your feelings about some of these old games are. And as always, guys, whether you've enjoyed the game or not, hopefully you've enjoyed checking it out with me. If you have, go ahead, like the channel, or like the video, subscribe to the channel, um, and share this video with your friends and fam. Share the good word that is, oh no, I'm pulling up, I'm pulling up all into the ocean. Oh God, oh. I thought there was a shark that was coming to eat me. My heart actually jumped there for a second. I don't know about you guys, but it's kind of my fear to be eaten by a shark. Um, I don't think about it often, but it is kind of a fear in the back of my head occasionally. Um, but yes, yeah, share this video. Share the good word that is Super Monkey Ball. If you ever do see it, it is worth picking up uh, for one of your old consoles. And uh, yeah, until next time, my friends, um, I'm going to be lost in a world of monkeys and balls. You guys take care of yourselves. Alrighty, folks. Peace. 315 points! Alright, guys, my hopes of showing you some minigames have hit a snag because it turns out that at the advanced level we got to as baby is the farthest I can get in this game. So I got these points by playing on beginner again. And I only got 315 points. And I'm gonna have to play beginner like four more times in order to get enough points to unlock a minigame. Oh god, this is terrible! He does like a sweet monkey dance though, I'll give him that. Alright, we got 364 points that time around. 360 points! Well, it wasn't pretty, but we hit the 2500. Let's see what we've unlocked. So we only get to buy one of these things. 
Monkey golf is like mini golf. Monkey billiards is billiards. Let's just give monkey bowling a quick shot. Wait, monkey bowling or monkey golf? Oh god, no wait, I can't decide! Uh, I decided to go with mini golf because it's the most, uh, most variety of a mini game. So when you play a game here, you hop in, you pick your monkey. We'll go with Ai again, as he's the title character. Go ahead, we have 18 holes. And uh, it's basically just a game of golf, a game of mini golf. So you get to line up I, I. He has a golfing putter, but it's him you're hitting. And you get to have how much power you want. Kind of like uh, just Nintendo's golf. And uh, oh, hole in one, guys. Yeah, I'm glad I was recording that. Uh, look at that sweet little monkey dance. He's dancing away his little ball. He has earned that dance. We get an instant replay, but you guys don't need to see that. Um, this is another game you can play with friends. Um, so here's another, another uh, hole here. Let's just see how well we can do on this one. Uh, let's go. That's too much power, I think. And we missed the hole. We needed to angle it slightly. Um, anyway, you guys get the idea. We're going to go through some progressively harder holes. And if we were playing bowling, we'd be throwing these monkeys down a bowling alley, uh, trying to get them into... Uh, Get them to knock over pins. If we were playing, uh, what's the other game that we had there? There was bowling, golf, um, oh, billiards. Yeah, they'd be hitting billiards balls. I am highly disappointed that you have to get 2,500 points per mini game that you want to unlock. I feel like that is the game being a little uh, cruel to you. But, uh, but hey, there is a lot of gameplay here, so I can't complain too much. So anyway, there you go, guys. Super Monkey Ball. Take it for what it is. the hell am I aiming for anyway? This? Are you kidding me? I have to land on this? There's no way. I'm just straight up falling right into the water. <laughs> ah, super monkey ball.